Hi, I'm Colin from Spaceflight Made Simple, and today I want to bring you guys a quick video about tomorrow's Dragon Landing. The Crew-1 Dragon will be returning home with three American astronauts and a Japanese astronaut. Dragon will be splashing down off the east coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. Crew Dragon will separate from the International Space Station at 5.05 a.m. on Wednesday, April 28th. And as Dragon backs away from the orbiting outpost, it'll begin using its own thrusters to increase its rate of separation. After Dragon is a sufficient distance away from the space station, it'll carry out a series of maneuvers that will ensure that it won't collide with the station at a later date. And a few hours later, Dragon will be ready to carry out its deorbit burn. Engines tucked away near the docking port will be utilized to carry out this burn. This engine burn will put Dragon on a course that will lead it into Earth's atmosphere. After this burn is complete, the nose cone will be closed, and Dragon will orient itself for the separation of the unpressurized trunk. The unpressurized trunk section of the Dragon spacecraft is located below the capsule, and is mostly used for power generation. Once the trunk is separated, Dragon will orient itself heat shield first to prepare itself for re-entry. And after entry interface, Dragon will begin to experience the fires of returning home to Earth. During this brief period of time, Dragon will be out of contact with their controllers on the ground. However, this shouldn't take long, as soon Dragon will emerge from the plasma of re-entry and re-establish communication with mission control. After free-falling for a little while, Dragon will deploy its drogue parachute, which will begin the process of slowing the spacecraft down. And eventually, the drogue parachute will pull out the main parachutes, which will ultimately make sure Dragon's splashdown is nice and comfy. And at 10.40 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, April 28th, Dragon will splash down in the Atlantic Ocean. Once Dragon is in the water, it will be picked up by a nearby SpaceX recovery vessel. And then the Dragon spacecraft will begin the process of being refurbished for use on a future mission. So if you want to keep up with the Crew-1 SpaceX Dragon's landing, I'll leave some links down below that can help you with that. First off, I'll leave a link to NASA's YouTube channel, where they'll livestream both the undocking and the landing. And I'll also leave a link to my Twitter, where I'll post up-to-date information on Crew-1 as well as other upcoming events in spaceflight. And if you have any questions about Crew Dragon or the process of landing the Crew Dragon, leave them down below in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them there. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Spaceflight Made Simple, I'm Colin and I will see you next time.